Hey guys, it's Aaron. Today I want to take a look at something that we've covered in other videos like piecemeal, little, little things we've covered before, but uh, kind of a comprehensive bring it all together kind of video. Um, that is looking at double clicking. So I know double clicking, not in this, you know, if you double click on select, you get select all the connected pieces. This is a double click in use inside of specific tools. So we're going to talk about double clicking today. So I know, like I said, um, this is something that we've covered before, but on the forum uh, and on some videos, we've just had a couple times where people come up and they're like, wow, that double click thing was worth the whole live model I watched or something like that. So uh, I figured we'll just dive in a little bit. And there's three specific spots that I can think of outside of select that double click helps. And we're taking a look at each of them and a special use case right now. All right, I'm gonna start with a shape. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna draw some shapes. I'm gonna start with some just 90 degree angles. Uh, maybe we'll get an inside angle here. And then I'm gonna draw this back like this. So something like that. So I, I'm looking for a shape intentionally that has some 90s on it. I end up with three 90s on here. An outside 90, well under 90, well over 90. So what I'm gonna start with is the arc tool. So we've covered this before, but uh, if I click and click i'm going to wait till i get to tangent see when it turns purple that means it's at tangent to both ends uh teal like this is tangent at one end this is tangent to the first end it's always be that you know always come off tangent and then uh, purple is tangent to both ends so i'm just going to click twice there now my cursor now is loaded up with that tangent so if i come here and i double click right here it's going to put that same one on there if i go to an outside corner like this double click it shows up there also. If I come to a non 90 corner like this one and double click, it's gonna go there, over 90, same thing. And then of course another 90. Now just to just to look at that, right? So I'm gonna click on this one and we see that is around, it's rounded to one foot six and a quarter. That's the radius. That's the, if I was to draw a line here on this 90 degree angle here, those lines would be one foot six and a quarter. Now, this one, obviously, this arc looks a lot bigger than this one. It is longer. So if I look at this, so this is what, two, four, five eighths. If I click this one, it's longer, but look, the radius is the same. So the inscribed radius is going to be the same length as on here, even on this one. So this is a little teeny tiny. Look how short this guy is um, under a foot. But the radius, again, is the same length. So when you use double click on rate or on arc, you're not going to get the same length arc because that's going to be controlled by the two segments you're connecting. What it will do is use the same radius on that corner. So important point there. That is going to be different depending on, uh, you know, like the, the length will be di different depending on the geometry, but the arc will be the same. All right, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to make a copy of it right over here because the next thing we're going to look at is double clicking with push pull. So if I come in here and I push this up, let's say I just push it up 12 inches. Uh, if I come over to without, I haven't left the command, if I just come over here and I double click, that's going to go up 12 inches also. So this is nice for if I have repeating geometry and I want to, you know, pull up or push down over and over, that works. The other thing I can do is if I hit my modifier key, option on Mac, control on Windows, I can create segmented offsets uh, by using that same double click. See that? So each one of those has a surface in there. By hitting that plus, I'm actually creating new sections. So uh, this will have, you know, there's a face at each of these. But this is kind of cool because this, this gives me a neat option for uh, geometry manipulation because what I can do, I'll turn this off. Oh, hold on, I'll try that again. Back up here, grab just that ring like that. And what I can do now is I can use scale. And it'll scale about the middle, pull it in this way, pull it in this way. And so I can just kind of come up with some, some cool geometry like that real quick and easy uh, because uh, there's the segmentation has happened that way. That's real easy to set up in even increments by using that double click. 
Another tool that we can use to offset, so I'm going to go ahead or use double click in is offset. So I'm going to click here, offset this whole set of geometry, I don't know, this amount. <laughs> Very specific. And if I come in here and double click again, it will offset another time. And I'll just do that a couple times. That's pretty cool. That also can be used along with the other tool we were just looking at, which is push pull. So if I go into push pull, and here's a cool thing, right? So before we were pushing up one inch or one foot, watch this. So I left push pull, right? And I'm coming back in. If I double click here, it still remembers the last push pull I did and offsets one foot. And that goes for all these commands we're doing. So if I come back to arc right now, and I come hover on this corner right here and double click, guess what? That arc right there, same radius we used before, one six and a quarter, um, and it remembered it even though I left the command and came back in. So push pull is not only nice for doing repetitious work while you're inside the command, you know, like go one after another, but you can always come back and do it. In fact, it will stay there unless I do another push pull. So, so push pull is always going to do one foot. So if I come in here and do this, it's one foot again. I'm going to undo. If I was to take this down a foot, okay, now my push pull length that it has sorted is negative one foot. So if I come here and click right here, it pushes it down instead of going up because the last one I did was negative. If I come half that distance up, so I'll go to the midpoint right there. Now, if I option double click, I'm gonna get a six inch offset rather than that. And it's gonna stay at six inch now until I change it. Like I said, regardless if I leave this command and come back in, it's gonna keep doing that. So there you go. That was, that was, I, I tried to make a comprehensive double click video, not including select. Um, if you double click on a surface, it selects all the edges around. If you double click on an edge, it grabs all the surfaces connected. There, now it's comprehensive. <laughs> but I wanted to highlight those three commands because those three commands will remember like long term. If you leave SketchUp and come back, like if I save this model, close it and open it again, it's not going to remember my offset or my arc dimension, anything like that. But as long as I'm in the same session, as long as I don't use those, those commands, arc, offset, or push pull to do a different length, it will remember and I can keep using that double click. It's not just like continuous as long as I'm still in the prod, inside the, uh, the same command. So check it out. If you don't use double click, it's a huge time saver. Uh, it saves you from having to copy geometry or move things around. Double click, great tool. If you're not using it already, you should add that to your arsenal. If you haven't liked this video, go ahead and click like down below right now before you leave. And if you don't subscribe, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment. Like I said, this video, the idea for this video was sparked based on comments we had in a live model video. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.